Yeah, I don't think LSE is for everyone. Let's see how the crop throat talks, yeah. 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 In the first two weeks of being at LSE, someone was asking me if I've started looking at spring weeks, and I was just like, hi guys welcome to my channel in case you haven't seen my face before my name is alicia and today's video is going to be on spilling the tea on lse what i mean by that is that i'm going to do a review of my first year at lse seeing as i finished my exams and it is finally over i was asked a few questions on linkedin about lse and what it looks like in first year so i've gathered them all together wrote a few notes and i'll be addressing them today <laughs> What is the social life like at LSE? I can see why this question was asked because I feel like a lot of people have this misconception of LSE being a really like pathetic university for social life and just any London university to be honest. I don't think that that is the case at all. Like people at my accommodation are literally clubbing on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, every single day of the week. I don't know how they do it, but it is definitely done. Social life isn't just clubbing, it's also the events that the university puts on and the different societies but I'd, I'd say it's good my favorite social events have been put on by the ACS because LSE has the best ACS in London that's not actually like a statistic I just always say that and I always like take the mick out of Queen Mary's ACS <laughs> here's some clips from the ACS masquerade ball which was one of the biggest ACS events this year <laughs> I'm trying to. This is my first vlog, it's so bad. Is first year at LSE easier than A levels? Mm, this is a good question because people always say that first year of university is easier than your A levels. To some extent, yes, but to another extent, no. So the workload is definitely not easier. You definitely have a greater workload in first year at LSE because you are like undertaking four full modules which feels like you're doing four full A-levels or more to be honest at times because that consists of lectures for each module, readings for each module, seminars for each module, essays for each module and problem sets. So the workload can be quite intense. Also, because you're independent as well, it sometimes can be hard to keep up with it all. Whereas at A-level, you're literally guided through everything. But in terms of the content, so not the workload, I'd say it's not as challenging in some aspects. Certain modules are just recapping A-level. For example, the LSE statistics module and quantitative methods module, if you're taking economics, they're pretty much just recapping A-level and going a little bit further. But that said, the macro and micro modules have recently been changed because they resembled A-levels too much. So they are a lot harder than A-levels. They're very mathematical. There's a lot of models. So don't go into LSE with that expectation because you might be just slapped in the face by the economics modules. The thing that makes first year a lot less stressful than A-levels is because your exams at LSE first year are not as important as your A-levels. Like your A-level exams are literally 100% exam based and they mean a lot, like especially at that time, because that is what gets you into university. Your whole offer is riding on that. Whereas your first year exams, they count for 10% of your grade at LSE. And also your worst two or three modules, I think it's three, don't count towards the average as well. So there's, there's like a lot less pressure than A-levels, definitely. But also what makes university a bit harder than A-levels is the fact that you're living on your own for the first time. You're learning how to cook, learning how to clean for yourself, learning how to do your laundry, like you're doing all these chores for yourself, food shopping, everything that your parents or your carers probably used to do. So there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of navigating and there's a lot to learn in first year. Unless you're living at home. Yeah, unless you're living at home. How difficult did you find first year? What I found difficult was because I'm a politics and economics student, navigating my essay modules with my mathematical modules. So if I have an essay coming up that I know is worth 30% of my module grade, what I would tend to do is put everything else on a back burn to focus on that sol solely. But then it makes it really difficult to catch up um, in the other modules in future. If I was to give anyone any tip going into LSE is don't fall behind. I'm sure everybody would say that. 
just don't just don't do it because it's so hard to catch up but the first year is about learning i feel like it's about learning how you learn so now i know going into second year that that is a little bit of an issue for me i'll know to spend a longer amount of time on my essays over a span of time if that makes sense is nsc diverse yes it's probably one of the most diverse universities in the UK, especially out of all the Russell Group unis and the top universities, because it's 70% international. There's a lot of different cultures here. There's a lot of different societies to represent every culture, religion, which is great. It's absolutely great, especially because LSE is in London as well. I've never felt that imposter syndrome at LSE. There is a lot of black people at LSE because our ACS is quite big, but that is not really made up of Caribbeans. So yeah, there's diversity, but there's not every single culture is represented, if that makes sense. There's only one other Jamaican in our ACS, I think, in my year. So yeah, I'd love a bit more representation. If you're Jamaican, please come to LSE. Is it difficult to make friends at LSE? Nah, I don't think it's difficult. That might just be my character, but it's definitely not difficult in Michaelmas term or freshers. But I think another tip is make an effort in freshers, make an effort in Michaelmas term, because after Michaelmas term, it gets tough. Like during the first term, everyone is so friendly. Everyone wants to make friends. You can literally just go and sit next to a random stranger and say hi, and they will literally just have a conversation with you. Um, whereas when it comes to the next term, like Lent term, for example, like, it's just a little bit awkward if you go and sit up to a random group of people and I feel like it wouldn't be reciprocated as well because LSE is very cliquey after the first term and all my friends are from Freshers as well. What is the best accommodation at LSE? I'm going to be biased and say Bankside House. Everyone says the best accommodation is Bankside literally everyone like it's almost not even a debate but i'd say that it depends on your character if you watch my um previous video which i'll put the link on i go through an ex an extensive list of pros and cons at bankside and a few of my friends give their opinions as well so you can watch that if you want more detail but yeah there's a, there's a lot of cons with bankside i'll just say and if you want to go into that further you can watch that but some of the other halls are great like i really like sydney webb um, I also really like High Hot Barn as well. Do you think LSE is for everyone? Yeah, I don't think LSE is for everyone. So if you don't get into LSE, I wouldn't be too disheartened. Because for example, I didn't get into my first choice university, which was Cambridge. But now looking back at it, I'm glad I didn't get in there. I'll do a separate video on this, but I'm glad I'm not there because I just don't feel like it would be for me. So just sort of believe in fate a little bit. If you don't get in, it's probably not for you. I'll talk about this later in the video, but there is a bit of a cutthroat culture sometimes when it comes to internships and stuff. And that is not for everyone. What are the societies back at LSE? Um, I think the societies at LSE are great. There's so many, like I haven't even, I haven't even been to a quarter of the societies. So I am a member of Economic Society, Government Society. I recently went to an event and I loved it. All of my best friends are now on the committee. Shout out to you guys. So I know it will definitely improve in the future. And ACS. My favourite is ACS. This is Afro-Caribbean Society in case you don't know the abbreviation. But if I ever see an event posted, I'm, I just book my ticket instantly. Like I'm just gonna go if I'm free because I just know that it will be good. And, and it's just a nice way to connect with people from my culture, from my background, because without the ACS, honestly, I probably wouldn't see any brown people, any black people at LSE. Like we're dispersed. <laughs> Are you laughing at me or something else? We're dispersed. <laughs> Does LSE have a cutthroat culture? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, just, yeah, there actually is. Okay, cutthroat is an interesting word. I don't know if I'd use the word cutthroat because that sort of implies that we're all competing with each other. And I don't feel like we are, although that's probably just my opinion because we're in first year. So we definitely, definitely me and all my friends are those sort of LinkedIn people that you see that are really annoying that post. I'm excited to announce that I got an internship. I got a spring week. We, we are those people, honestly. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry to say it, we actually are. But it's not competitive. It's more 
we're more supportive of each other, I'd say. Or definitely me and my friends. Like, we all like each other's posts, share them, comment. We're happy for everyone. We're happy when someone gets a massive internship at a, at a big company. It can be a little bit annoying sometimes. Like, I do remember in the first two weeks of being at NSC, someone was asking me if I've started looking at spring weeks. And I was just like... I haven't even unpacked my bags yet. <laughs> I like that environment though. I think that it's not meant to, I don't know. I don't think it should always be viewed as a negative thing because it does push you to achieve more. Because if I see someone, if I see my friends posting on LinkedIn that they're getting internship offers, they're getting, you know, they're achieving X, Y, Z. I need to get off my butt and achieve X, Y, Z and more. Do you know what I mean? The only time I found this a little bit annoying was because I am sort of driven to go into government. I found it a little bit difficult to find work experience opportunities within politics. Whereas everyone else was sort of easily picking up corporate opportunities that I wasn't necessarily interested in. But it's all fine now. I recently got an internship at Think Tank, so that's good. Do you wish you went to Cambridge instead of MIT? Why are you throwing that question in there? <laughs> in hindsight, I don't wish that I went to Cambridge. For things like diversity and just the location i just don't think it was for me my dad was always telling me this when i was applying but i didn't want to hear it simple things as like me needing to get my hair dyed or my hair cut or me needing to get cantu or you know get some jerk chicken like i'm always ordering caribbean takeaways that those things would be harder in anywhere not just cambridge but anywhere outside of london the, the opportunities that i've got at lse i just don't think i would have got those at cambridge like i'm literally on the largest scholarship at the lse the people i've met the people i've networked with like even just being able to message someone on linkedin and ask them to meet me for a coffee in westminster you can't necessarily do that if you're living out of london but that is a big question that's opening a whole can of worms so i'll go into that in another video on my rejection <coughs> What's the economics like? Oh. <laughs> I don't know why you're faking that deep voice, but you're not going to get a retake, that's what's going in. What? what I like about doing economics at LSE is that everyone does it. Because LSE is like a social science university and it's literally the London School of Economics, I feel like 80% of people do some sort of economics, whether that's economics and history or economics and politics or straight economics. like everyone sort of has it or might even pick it for an outside module so in that sense it's good to be able to chat with your friends like i can literally just i don't know walk upstairs and ask someone did you understand this or i'll be in the lift and people will be talking about it um and it's just great in that sense whereas you wouldn't get that at another university that isn't like a specialist uni it's very mathematical i feel like economics at university in general is mathematical because i know it is at cambridge as well it's pretty much just maths economic models and then a bit more maths to top it off this is why i'm really happy that i chose politics and economics and not just straight econ because just having the mixture of the two kind of keeps me sane a little bit if i was just doing economics i feel like i'd be upset because i prefer the theory side to it but i'm hoping in second year when i can pick certain modules now that i've like covered the foundations and the basics that it will be um, more enjoyable for me yeah that's it oh my gosh that was such a fun video i think this is probably one of the most favorite videos that i've enjoyed if you liked it please leave a thumbs up if you have any like feedback or criticism or anything <laughs> i'm like are you crazy? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If you have any feedback or criticism, anything, video suggestions, please comment. I reply to all of them. And yeah, please subscribe. I have so much exciting content coming out. I sound a little bit crazy right now, but yeah. Okay, bye. Tell him this. Did he miss? Junior wants another year, my Ex-trippers. Mm -hmm. New killers. Mm -hmm.